Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I want to try this viral TikTok concealer from Winky Lux. It's called the it's called the Peeper Perfect concealer. Um, it's not new, but um, I kept seeing it on TikTok. It's viral on TikTok, so I decided why not try it. And I was, I said, I said, you know what? I'm gonna put my camera on, and we can do it together. But before the foundation, I always wanted to use this Mac. This is a Studio Tech cream to powder foundation. To me, it's not it powder. To me, it's just cream. Um, I have it in the shade NC50, so I can finally use it um, on my channel like I always wanted to do. I'm obsessed with this foundation. Like, literally obsessed with this foundation. It's so beautiful. All right, so I'm going to go in with my... Sonia G brush and blend it out. It's so pretty, guys. Like, if you don't own this foundation, I would definitely recommend it. And it just gives a beautiful, looks like a satin matte finish. And then as you wear it over time, it just looks like, a, like your skin has a natural glow. That's why, for me, I don't think... It sets down as like powder, as it claims. All right, so for the concealer, it came in this box in a cute little um, packaging. And um, this is supposed to have hyaluronic acid and all of that um, good stuff. So I got mine from Target and I did an um, online order and then pick up. I think it was 15 something or close to $16 and then after tax it came up to like 17 something and um, I think it has like either 10 or 11 shades. So I wanted the deeper shade because I was like so little shades and I think it was D plus but it wasn't available at my target. So I got shade deep. So this is cruelty free, gluten free, contains hyaluronic acid. Um, it's for oily skin, dry skin, combination skin, and just also quickly, so it brightens and gives a more awake look, helps hydrate and protect delicate skin under the eye. So I guess this would be very good for matured skin. Um, it's full coverage. And um, I'm going to have everything else listed in the description box also has vitamin E perfect for delicate under eye area all right so I swatched this when I picked it up and this looks very light and neutral for deep so that was disappointing but I'm still gonna try it this is what the shade looks like see that looks light and super super neutral but uh let us see <laughs> and if it's too oh it feels you know what this feels like this is feeling like the nyx that serum concealer from nyx i'm gonna let it sit on my face for a little bit so that and I'm using my fingers to put this on because I don't want to start using my brush and then most of it get on the brush. Oh, this feels super hydrating. The only thing I have to compare the texture to is that NYX concealer. And I think they're about the same price, if I'm not mistaken. Like, when I look at myself in my little mirror here, I mean, of course, it's looking neutral or whatever, but it's not looking as light as how it's looking on my monitor and my and on my laptop. It's not looking like that. So, and it also has like a, there's a slight almondish, Color almost like the that Becca under eye um, brightener sort of, 
So I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and then I'm gonna come back and blend it out. So far, I love the texture of it. All right, it's been on my face for like a little over a minute, going on two minutes. I don't know how this is deep. <laughs> like, how is this deep, right? But it does have a slight salmonish sort of undertone. All right, let's go ahead. I'm using the Sephora number 71 brush. Guys, I if you are in the market for a concealer brush, I highly, highly recommend this number 71 brush. The shape of it just gets in all the crevices. It blends it out so smoothly. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and speed this up. All right, so this is it blended out. I wish I had gotten, I wish the D plus was available. I don't know how dark that is because this is definitely light, lighter than I would, would have chosen if I had a choice, but it's so beautiful. I feel like it softened my under eye, softened my whole face. It's very, it does give you like that youthful um, under eye. So it's definitely great for um, matured skin. This is pretty, guys, but it's reminding me so much of the NYX concealer, but oh my goodness, it's really, really pretty. I'm loving it so far. All right, so I went in with cream bronzer, and I think it looks a lot better, kind of toned it down a little bit, but I wanted to show you the NYX concealer. Um, this is what it's reminding me of when I said the NYX serum concealer. It's reminding me of this. Really, really, really super pretty. All right, so we're gonna go in and set the under eye. And I'm using my Laura Mercier, of course. I have it turned upside down because it's almost finished, but I have my backup. I got my backup during the sale. All right, so, and the last time I remember when I used the sponge, I was like this. That's why I felt so awkward. Instead of sticking my finger in there, you guys probably were like, what is this girl doing? This is feeling sort of so hydrating. So I don't want to go in with too much powder because I don't want it to look patchy. So I'm going to go like tap very gently. Okay, so far I played very nicely. And I'm loving this sponge, guys. The only negative I would say, I wish it wasn't so bulky. To me, it could have been a little thinner. And it's great for touch-ups as well, like when you're out and you get shiny. It's like perfect for that. Okay, so. This played nicely, right? This is such a pretty concealer, guys. And I think with the rest of my face, it's gonna look nice. And what I also wanted to use on camera, I went back and I got Freaky Peach from, um, I'm talking quietly, my son is sleeping, from um, Patrick Star. And if you're of a deeper skin tone and you felt Freaky Peach may not show up on you, oh my God, it shows up and shows out. So even before I do like a full face, face of powder, I like to go in with the cream. And... Then when I finish, I go in with um, the two other powders, but it's, it's a stunning, stunning, um, it's a stunning shade of peach. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I like this more than the, um, the orange one that I think is the fire starter. And for this, for some reason, I don't mind a bright cheek with the peach. I've been laying it on like super thick all right so i'm gonna finish up the rest of my face i'm gonna come back and show you guys how it looks with the other two and we're gonna talk more about the concealer which i am definitely loving so far all right guys so i wanted to go in with the blush and show you guys how beautiful it looks so i'm gonna go in with the um the matte powder and I am super generous with this. Something about this color makes me just go crazy. 
like I felt like he made this, these colors for me. <laughs> peach. I love peach. And oh, see, I would never go in with bright cheeks like this. But for some reason with this palette, I love the way it looks. And then I'm going to take the smaller brush for the, the glow powder. And look, look, look at this. Oh my God. This is so beautiful. So if you were looking at this, because at first I was like, is it going to show up on me? But I should have known better because the first palette was so pigmented. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? So pretty. And so the concealer, you know, I did all my bronze and stuff like that. To me, it's still a little too light. Because I've had lighter concealers that had yellow in it, so it didn't look as light. This is sort of neutral, sort of salmon-y pinkish. So if I can get my hands on D+, Plus, eventually I will because I do like it. I think it's super pretty. All right, let me finish up the rest of my face. And I'll come back with my final thoughts on this concealer. All right, guys. So I'm finished um, with my entire face. And I can't do a weird test today at all because my son is home. Spring break. And oh, my God. He was like, he's been a bad out of hell all week. It's been, I wanted to cry yesterday. So I'm not even going to attend to today because it's not, it's not worth it. So, and he's up. I hear him. So I'm trying to rush. Um... So this is how everything looks. This concealer is really beautiful. I just, I think I need a darker shade though. Like, how could this be deep? Like, come on, do better. How is this deep, right? Extend the shades. Um, because I think this has been out for like over a year or so now. But Michaela, on, um, she's like how back in the day when Jacqueline Hill says something on YouTube, everybody, it would sell out. Same thing with her on TikTok. And she loves it. So everybody, you know, started talking about it and buying it, me included. But um, it is, like, really pretty for real. But I think I need a deeper shade. But it's really nice. It's nice and hydrating. If you have matured skin, I think you would love this. Um, if you're lighter than me, I think, like, maybe a shade or two lighter than me, this color would be perfect for you. But if I can get my hand on the Deep Plus, I'm definitely going to grab it, see what it's like, because I think it's so pretty. And I'm going to wear it, but I think I'm going to mix it with mix it in with the NYX concealer. I think that would be a perfect to give me a perfect match, because they're, they're very, very similar. So if you have the NYX concealer, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. And sorry for the whispering. And I'll see you in my next video.